Good morning. Welcome to your Friday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nassbaum, here with some words of wisdom for our day. And happy Friday. We made it through another week. Yay us. So glad to have this opportunity to connect with you. And actually that kind of fits with our card for today, which is all about gratitude. So we'll set ourselves up to really receive and give that gratitude. Good morning, Carolyn. You are the first one to here today. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. So let's just do our usual breathing. Good morning, Cindy. Welcome. Looks like someone else has popped on. Tracy, good morning. Glad you're here. So let's just take a couple of nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Feeling your shoulders drop in through the nose, out through the mouth, bringing your attention right here to this moment in through the nose. Out through the mouth. So this last one, I want you to inhale more deeply and exhale more deeply than any of those other three breaths. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And now you can return to your regular breathing. But as we go forward today, just take some time here and there to do a nice deep breath and notice how it relaxes you when you do so. So our deck for today is the Nature Portals deck by Bruce and Carol Malner, Inspiration Through the Peace and Beauty of Nature. And I thought, oh, this is a good deck for today because we've had some heavier cards this week and it's always wonderful to have one that is the pause that refreshes, right? So beautiful card. Look at all those wildflowers. I see Leatris for sure. All kinds of beautiful stuff there. Just enjoy that picture. I'd like to be sitting right there. Is that a stump or a rock? I think it's a rock right here. I'd like to be sitting right there, listening to the buzzing of the bees, feeling the breeze. So let's go there. I want you to close your eyes. If you're driving, don't do that. <laughs> but just close your eyes and take a nice deep breath in. And allow yourself in your mind to be transported to this very meadow. You can see the rocks, and I want you to pick out a rock. Good morning, Janine, we're going on a little journey here. Pick out a rock that you wanna go sit on, or maybe you find a tree stump, or a fallen tree, whatever. Find a spot to sit. And I want you to pay attention to what you notice as you're sitting there. Perhaps you do hear the buzzing of the bees as they go about their work. Maybe you hear some birds calling. Maybe you hear the rustle of the leaves as the wind blows through. Maybe you feel the sun warming your body. Maybe you can feel that coming up from the rock beneath you because it's soaked up that sun. Feeling a breeze, just enjoying being there. And as you're there, I'm gonna read the card and there's part in there where you can take advantage of the things that are around you, okay? Let me grab a drink here. Be grateful, abundance is all around you. So look around you, look at that abundance. The beauty of the flowers and the grasses and the trees. Good morning, Beth, we're going on a little journey here. So just land yourself right here, this beautiful meadow. Gratitude shifts your focus from what your life lacks to the abundance that is already present. Choose a natural item, such as a flower, and focus on it for several minutes. So you're in this beautiful place in your mind's eye. Pick something out, and I want you to stare at it. I want you to feel your heart open as you breathe, connecting with whatever this sentient being is. There might be an animal there, might be the flowers, could be the rock, but view them all as having life. They are all sentient beings. Indigenous people often referred to them as brothers and sisters, the rock people, the tree people, etc. Find things to appreciate about that aspect that you're staring at. So if you're staring at a flower or a rock or a tree, what do you appreciate about it? What are the characteristics of it that give you pleasure, help you feel joy? 
I am a, a definitely a rock person. So sitting there on that rock, I would greatly appreciate the surface of the rock. This one looks like it would be rough under my hand. Probably warm. Good morning, Peggy. We're just landing ourselves in this meadow here, picking something out and staring at it. I want you to mentally say thank you to that particular thing that you're looking at. Animal, rock, flower, tree, whatever it is you're looking at, mentally say thank you. And I'd like you to make it specific. Thank you for, what are you thankful for about that item? Good morning, Mel. If you want to close your eyes, we're in the meadow at the moment. What are you thankful for with regard to that aspect you're staring at? Now I'd like you to pick something else. Pick something that's of a different type than what you just looked at. Good morning, Barb. We are in the meadow. So if you first did a rock, maybe now you pick a flower. Or if you first did a flower, maybe now you pick a tree. But pick something that's different than the one that you stared at first. And I want you to stare at this next one. And notice how you feel as you stare at this one. Does that feel different to you than the first one? Enjoying it. Appreciating it. For what do you feel gratitude with this second item that you're staring at? And some of those gratitudes might be about what those things can do for us. Some of that gratitude might be about what those things can do for our world. Some of those things might be you have the gratitude simply because they're beautiful and because they're a part of our world, whatever it is. As you practice appreciating what's right in front of you, you will find more and more reasons to be grateful. And I'm going to suggest you're going to find more and more things for which to be grateful. You're going to find the reasons to be grateful and you're going to find the things to be grateful for. Because, again, I go back to that Deepak Chopra quote. The park is a different experience when you walk through it, when you stroll through it, than when you speed past it in your car. Do you pay attention to the things that you appreciate? I've got the little bowl of rocks on my desk. There are probably some days where I don't pay attention to it. What a loss. What a loss. I'm glad you're liking this one. Yes, we need to pay attention. And I also, first of all, I want to do the quote, which is by Henri Matisse. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. Good morning, Deb. Welcome. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. Do you choose to see the flowers? Do you choose to stop and smell the roses? There's all these cliches that we have about this, but there's a reason they exist. To guide us to take some time. So, good morning, Chrissy. Welcome, welcome. So, I want to read my tut from the universe today, too, because it's right in alignment with this. Yes, absolutely, mindfulness. Are we present for our lives? Okay? So for those of you who don't know Tut, uh, Mike Dooley does Tut from the Universe, which is a message that comes to your email every single day with something provocative to think about. And he's funny and cheeky, and he's got some cool things for us to pay attention to. But this is as if the universe is talking to you. So here is today's. In case you haven't noticed, the sun doesn't always rise in crimson. Good morning, Kathy, glad you are here. The wind doesn't always blow from the south. The rains don't always fall on the plains. And so you must allow for your own rhythms in time. Always in love, the universe. P.S. Plus, when things slow, it creates the rest you need to become even more. So I'm just going to pick a slow thing. Let's say you're stuck in traffic and you're mad and you're late and whatever. What if you took that moment to become even more, to practice the gratefulness and the appreciation today? You're sitting there in your car. There's cars all around you. Look around. Really look at your fellow human beings. And you might say, well, it's not safe to look at people. Well, don't stare. But take a glance. Oh, there's a young woman on my left. Oh, on the right, there's a family. 
Oh, in front of me, there's a guy in a pickup truck. Pay attention. What do you see? Do you, can you come up with gratitudes for all of those? I like the young woman's music. She's got really nice music on. I like watching the kids in their car seat. Oh, they're very, they're sharing toys. I like, whatever. I like the bumper sticker on the guy's truck in front of me. What do you appreciate? Because what we pay attention to and what we appreciate, appreciates. We get more of it. We get more of it. So turn those pauses that may feel like they're foisted upon you. You're waiting for the elevator and it's not coming, not coming. Look around. What do you appreciate? Well, the guy beside me is humming. Cool. Pay attention. Pay attention. Be grateful. Abundance is all around you. Awesome. Fabulous. Yes. And when we practice gratitude, even when we're going, well, thank you for this. I don't know what I'm supposed to get out of this never-ending stoplight, but thank you. I have my friend, Lynn Schuster. I wonder what I, what's going to come out of this. I wonder how this is going to work out. Very positive, very inquisitive, excited about how is this seemingly not great thing going to turn into something wonderful for me? When you expect that, what are you going to get? Wonderful things. Wonderful things. So, your mission today. Yes, we are the creator of our own joy. Thank you, Chrissy. Yes, yes, yes. And the corollary. We are the creator of our own misery. Which do you choose? Which do you choose? So, your mission for today, should you choose to accept it, is to find gratitude in all moments. To be consciously living your life. To look for the abundance that's there. I did mention Lynn Schuster. She's a friend of mine. You know Lynn too? <laughs> yep. Seven degrees of Kevin Bacon, right? We all are connected. We all are connected. Good morning, Judy. Welcome. We're just about done, but yep, absolutely. Door County Lynn Schuster, animal spirit talker. She's my buddy. Animal spirit talker. Yep. And for those of you who don't know Lynn, check out her website. It's Animal Spirit Talker, and she talks with animals, and she's got some wonderful stories on there, and she's a beautiful artist. She creates these amazing little little uh, pod people out of beads. She does amazing beadwork. She weaves. She's just a very creative, wonderful person. Check her out. You might find some Christmas gifts. <laughs> so, have an awesome day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bathe yourself in abundance, and remember, you are capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.